The audio has fabricated 8 subscale scramjet combustor and 4 full scale combustors along with subsystems for various testings for hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle. India will launch 50 satellites in the next 5 years for geo-intelligence gathering, which will create a layer of satellites in different orbits to track the movement of troops. Turkey has conducted the first flight of Anchor 3 jet-powered new generation deep strike unmanned combat aerial vehicle, and it will have a payload capacity of 1,200 kg to carry ISR payloads, air-to-air -air and air-to-ground munitions. A Qatari court has reduced the death sentence given to eight ex-Indian Navy personnel to prison terms, that now makes it possible for India to invoke a 2015 agreement signed with Qatar for the transfer of sentenced persons to India. Seekon Engineering Projects has delivered the fourth missile com ammunition barge to Indian Navy. With Iranian proxies targeting merchant ships off the Indian coast, the Indian Navy has deployed five frontline guided missile destroyers a logistics tanker, Boeing P-8I aircraft and Sea Guardian drone in the region. India had backed out of the FGFA program in 2019, as it did not meet its requirements for stealth. Russian media has reported yesterday, that 10 Su-57 fighter jets delivered to the Russian Air Force in 2023 were powered by Stage 2 engines, and all Su-57 aircraft that will be delivered in 2024 will feature Stage 2 engines. The Stage 2 engine features Chevron nozzles, that will reduce infrared and radar signatures of the aircraft, and it generates 167 kN thrust with afterburner that allows the Su-57 to supercruise at Mach 1.6. Russia has also equipped the Su-57 with drones, that will allow the Su-57 to break through enemy air defenses by overloading their detection system. Russia has also developed a hypersonic air-to-ground missile prototype for the Su-57, and is also developing a hypersonic anti-ship missile. Chennai-based firm Big Bang Boom Solutions has successfully completed testing campaign of its kamikaze attack drone with invaluable support from the Indian Army. While the company has not divulged specific technical details about the kamikaze drone, but information suggests that these are handheld drones weighing less than 1 kilogram. It is equipped with explosives, that will allow for the targeting of individual threats in counter-terror operations. After failing to meet the prescribed standard qualitative requirements set by Indian Armed Forces, the TAPIS program has been removed from mission mode programs, however, the government has allowed the continuation of the project under separate DRDO funds, that aims to address the shortcomings and bring the project in line with user expectations. The focus is now on the first flight of the Archer NG weaponized drone by the first quarter of 2024. The Indian Air Force is all set to finalize a wet lease agreement for one Airbus A330 multi-role tanker transport aircraft from the French Air Force, and the lease will also have an extension option of three years. The Air Force is also pursuing a long-term procurement plan for six additional tankers from Hindustan Aeronautics and Israel Aerospace Industries, that will convert readily available Boeing 767 aircraft into multi-mission tanker transport with additional cargo and transport capabilities. Today's Top 3 Comments